Yo, hey guys, Bigs here, back with another video. Gonna be continuing new profile type stuff. So back on the Paladin, uh, we had a bunch of money from our previous run. So I'm actually going to do some arena. So we've only unlocked one like uh, arena rank so far. And I'm gonna try to just go all the way up to whatever the highest is so I can spend as much of this money. And it's gonna basically have to at least set up our character a little bit to make this happen. So I'm gonna go hard seeker. Uh, didn't even have to roll for that, so that was nice. Buy all the items. We can still craft some kind of item at the anvil. I think I'll just go with the, I think I'm gonna go lucky hat. Our character is still set up for primary, so I'm just gonna continue that. Uh, as far as the fountain goes, I guess I'm just going to still use this stuff. I'm not actually sure any of the fountain stuff applies, but we can make sure. Um, I just don't remember if it applies or not. I don't think I don't think it works, but we can always test it. So I'll just do the regular preset one, see how that actually uh, works out. My chapel is still the same as the last one. Divine Blast, Blessing of Mind, Path of Defender, Symbol Essence. So I'm going to be leeching off my primary, and I'm going to still be using Phonetic Eruption, uh, Wicked Sickness, Overflowing Physique, where is Incinerary Demise, and then Crazy Eye. So that's going to bring me up to almost 40% chance to crit with my Attuned Heartseeker. And then we also have Luck, so we have 10 Luck. Um, 10 luck, two of it's from the fountain, but we'll see if it actually carries over into the arena. And we might just get destroyed instantly, but we'll see. So let's go all the way up to 30. We'll do the switches, faster spawn, shorter skirmish, and faster enemies. I guess I don't want faster enemies just in case it's too much. Enemies spawn with higher frequency. Um, I guess we could just not do faster and just do two less waves, leave it at that. And we'll start it off. See if we just get crushed instantly. So we have negative 100 armor and negative 100 resist. Let's see if these effects are actually turned on. They are not. So fountain does not work. But uh, it still let me turn it on. So it'll be interesting to see if when this character dies, the fountain is still locked in or not. Okay, it looks like I can at least kill enemies, so there's a chance that this will work. I picked up Lazy Stroll, but I don't know if I should have. Let's see what it actually does. I kind of forgot. Lazy Stroll, experience for movement. I should not have picked that up, but it's okay that I did. Those guys stun, so that's kind of an issue. I need to avoid those and just try to leech off of the regular enemies. But yeah, they do a lot of damage right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate that. And then I guess I need to actually grab some items. We'll kill the guy that does curses because there's no way to remove the curses. Okay, pickaxe is terrible. I'll take the sphere. Oh, that freaked me out for a second. All right, let me grab that. All right, that's a little too hard. We got one wave done, so we're just gonna restart and basically set up our character, but do it for a little lower. So I think the same thing should apply, but I need basically a way to uh, leech a little better. Or maybe I should go for some armor or resist. Uh, I don't know if there were stats, but maybe I should have looked at that. So I think in that case, I'm just gonna go with the armor here. That's actually fine. Also some evasion, some block, I'll take that. And I think I'm going to craft, still using hard seeker here for the extra crits. I just won't have the luck in this case. And I think I liked crazy eye, overflowing physique, uh, phonetic eruption and wicked sickness. The other one was incinerary demise, but I don't know if it was really doing good work for me. I'll try it again. And if this fails, I might just do the cape build and see if that's even better. All right, so let's go down to 25, which should be equal to NG5. Yeah, we'll try that. 
I also didn't really get to like pick up many items. I was kind of afraid at how much damage the enemies would do. This is already looking pretty easy. I just need to actually be able to pick up items. Alright, Assassin's Dagger is pretty big. More crit. So hopefully I'll be able to stay in a combo for a lot longer. Alright, let's go pick up some items. Well, I keep saying I'm going to pick up items, but I'm like not getting a chance to. Yeah, the block is really carrying me here. This would be very difficult on non-paladin. Uh oh, that thing does so much damage. Amulet of Kings, that's pretty good. Alright, we're in combo, we should be chilling. Uh, these guys that root be a little annoying. Oh, we got shot down by that. Uh, I mean, that's just my fault. So we do have some stats. Let's see what the damage is looking like. Um, damage taken, max damage taken, 295. So I'm mostly taking... Oh, it's not showing me my actual damage taken and whatnot. Uh, I think I can do that. I just need to play a little better. So... I'm just going to reset up the character again. Luckily we only have to do this like one time. Uh, evasion could also be good. Um, it is unfortunate that I did have the... Um, had the uh, two-piece king, so I had the armor and the amulet. Alright, we'll start with the amulet. And maybe I'll make armor as well, just to be super tanky. Uh, no, I think I still need the damage from Heartseeker, so I'll do that. Give this another try, so... Genetic Eruption, Wicked Sickness, Overflowing Physique, Incendiary Demise, Crazy Eye. That gives me yeah, 39.7, but no luck this time. And I should be able to try it on the same exact one. Maybe I can do faster enemies, just so they get to me faster. Also going to try to go after items a little quicker. Unfortunately, it's like apothecary items sometimes. Yeah, those guys do so much damage. Those, uh, pyramid burrows. Ooh, we're just getting trucked by these guys. Alright, so that was from the scorpion. So, maybe I just need to turn it down some more, but uh, we'll keep trying actually. We'll try one more, but I'm going to switch to cape and try it that way. So convert, I'm going to go Path of Defender, Blessing of Intellect, uh, Retribution, Divine Blast. And I guess I'll still go, let's see, let me go cape plus scepter. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go cape plus amulet. I feel like I need the 
the defense and getting 60 from the uh, the amulet's really good. And I'll just craft the cape. So now I'm gonna go uh, evil infusion, overflowing physique, genetic eruption, wicked sickness, and starlet stinger. It's gonna bring me up to 27% chance to crit. And we'll see how that goes. And I'll take off faster enemies that seem to not help me at all. Uh, I didn't put on Darien. I guess these are uh, constructs, so I can't actually leech off of them. Just probably the same issue with these other ones. Alright, I actually used a potion there. Wow. Alright, there's two, I guess. I keep getting these same enemies, which is definitely not good. Since they deal a ton of damage, and I don't think I leech off of them. But this arena is also a little easier, so that's, that's good for me. <laughs> Just got one shot, I think. Alright, let's restart. Um, I guess I need to look at these enemies. But I should probably just lower it, because it seems like it's not worth the effort anymore. So, Pyramid, let's look at Constructs. I mean, it could just be, like, too much. Yeah, Construct, the Lurker. Or, sorry, that's not Construct. Here's the Constructs. So yeah, it must not be an issue with the leech. Alright, um, we are converting back. And I'm going to go primary again. I just don't have enough items to uh, survive. Uh, the blackjack looks interesting. Markham's amulet is kind of a bait because you don't actually get that many items in the arena. As you saw, I'm having trouble like surviving the very beginning. All right, we'll just go damage. I'll make a lucky hat. Do the same thing. I'm going to go... Genetic Eruption, Wicked Sickness, Overflowing Physique, Incendiary Demise, Crazy Eye. Uh, I have Callus, that's just good uh, block. Let's bring this down to 20 and see how that goes. So, I mean, every 20 is like an NG, so as you see, I've lowered it by 2 NGs and I have more armor and resist. So that's kind of what's going on here. I can come back and do higher at another time, whenever it's a little easier. Got mages plus trappers at the beginning. That is not kind. Okay, grab that. Those dudes are a bit scary. Oh, I got confused. Wow, well, I was trying to get out of here. Alright, this looks doable. As we get crazy projectiles. Yeah, part of it was definitely trying to do too high too quickly. 
And then just not picking up items early enough. But now it seems I found a good balance of what I can actually uh, deal with. Help. <laughs> Where's the trapper? Oh my god, that one trapper destroys me. Okay. I can definitely do this. Um. Actually, let's see. Maybe I should just progress normally. So I have five for arena rank one. Is that right? So... Progress. Okay. Uh, let's just try 15 when we come back. We'll do the same setup. 15, and I may just even, like, ignore it after this, like, once I get this part done. And, uh, see what the rest of my money can actually do. And, um, just come back later. Come back every, like, five inches or something. And do a few. So, Fanatic Eruption, Incendiary Demise, Overflowing Physique, Wicked Sickness, and Crazy Eye. All right, let's try this again. This time we'll be on 15. Maybe I could have done the last one, but Trappers plus Wisp just wrecked me. So now we're looking at almost positive armor. And since I started with the amulet, I have positive resist, so I should have pretty good defense. Should. Bull's errand. Probably shouldn't have picked that up either. Definitely don't like the lightning storm. Nice, fortunate events. Give me some more evasion. Er, yeah, I guess some more evasion through luck. All right, getting kind of low. Can I get some mana? All right. Got some mana. All right, so we completed a, a wave, but they kind of hate me right now. So hopefully I have a decent amount of items I can just push on, because uh, getting a bad rating isn't really gonna help me much. There's so many items now, but it's so like annoying to go to the side. I do have endless potential for a little while, so at least that's something.
So I should try to get that pennant of penance. It's gonna be a lot more damage. Trying to keep the crowd happy though. Ooh, dragon scale mail. Alright, we get some good items now. The curse definitely doesn't help me. Wave completed. Okay. No items to go get. Sword of Kings, that's tight. Incredible strength, I'll take it. No thank you, Meteor Shower. No thank you. Alright, so that's four waves completed. Last one. Oh, I just need to go kill the boss, actually. I'll use a potion there. I need that guy to die. Okay. Alright, we got through of it. So, we got 75 swords. So, that sounds great. We could try to keep going, but I'd rather just knock out multiple when I can. So anyway, back to town. Uh, 75 swords should take me quite a while to spend. Yeah, so, uh, as you can see, it's already like 2k per. I have 75 available, so I'm probably just going to do one. One rank at a time all the way across because these are going to get way too expensive way too quickly so i'll just take all the stats there we go okay uh so 60 available we'll at least do like five more of each obviously the armor and resist are the best but it's just hard to keep up with the money part as you can see i saw like 40 remaining and try to put as much in these as i can because, uh, I mean, skill power and attack power are, like, not as useful, but they're still okay. Okay, and I'll convert some ore into arena stuff. So, let's sell some ore. 70k gold per. Uh, I guess I'll just sell, like, a thousand ore. Okay. Perfect. All right. So in the end, what did I end up gaining? I have ten resist now, ten armor, ten or twenty skill power, ten attack power. So not terrible for my character. If I actually go and look at what it looks like on the high NG now. So NG6, I mean, I'm still very negative. I've only gotten plus 10 of each of these from the uh, arena, which, you know, whatever. I'm just going to basically do a run anyway. And hmm, should I just tack on the run here? So it did just lock in my fountain. So my fountain is locked in. Uh, my drinks and items are gone, right? Because that's just how that works. Okay. Um. So... You know what? Actually, I'll just do a a desert temple run. Let's try that. So I'm gonna do the same thing, Heart Seeker plus like Lucky Hat. And I'll see if I can kinda of do it on like a, a decent NG. Because I know I did it on one for 
um, the original Nimbus, but I'm gonna do it again just to see. Maybe do like eight keys of each. And I might just like randomly fall flat on my face. But getting the extra stuff to a tune can be nice. And I don't really want to attack like a full NG thing onto this video. All right, so same setup. Did I switch? No, I still have Callus. Okay. Uh, so NG6 is going to be a little too crazy, I feel. You just don't get enough items as you do in the tower. You get like way less. So I'll probably look at doing NG3 or 4. Completed one. Uh, maybe I'll try to do four. See if that's possible. Negative 33 and negative 46 or negative or positive one and negative 17. Um, I'm going to try to do four. It might be kind of tough, but. All right. Our damage seems to be there. And... Luck is going to be good. Assassin Stagger is going to be good. So luck and crit for sure. I would like to get the Pinnet of Penance as well, but I haven't really seen what the floor layout looks like if I'm really going to see uh, very many curse removals on this floor. But I'm also trying to play it more legit. Uh, I could try to respec all my points and put it into the bestiary to see if that would work better for me. So I definitely want to buy the map piece and I think I want to buy the gladiator's net. And I'll have to save some money for uh, the next one because I need to keep buying those map pieces to make it easy. Right, there's a curse removal, so minus one curse. And less potential. Alright, so now I can like fly around this level. Not as worried about ore, but I'll pick it up. Two more curse removal. Oh, we found a statue, Cedric. Statue blueprint. All right, looks like we've explored pretty much everything. So I'm going to go to the top because that's where my map is telling me I should go. I could have picked up more gold, but whatever. Hey, there's two more curse things. Excellent. So I actually removed all the curse. So I should have taken the penance as well and just dealt with the negative curse because I'm going to be able to remove most of it, it's just, uh, it's been a while since I've done arena, or not arena, a uh, pyramid. So I think I could have stacked up to like 20 plus curse and removed most of it by the first boss. But I didn't, so here we are. Uh, Fortunate events, so that's pretty decent. Uh, map piece for sure, and I think I want to come back for the lucky horseshoe. So that was like 3k gold ish it was less but if i have 3k i have enough need to collect gold anyway and i'm also looking for another sarcophagus to hopefully get some more items since I don't have any curse right now, it's a little inefficient. I have at least four curses I can remove. And I have one more item I need to buy. So... Oh, there's a fifth curse over there. 
can try to remember that trap. So it's like a an end but on an angle. That'll come in handy later if I can remember. Alright, I guess there's nothing really here, so I'll take the luck. And yep, nothing over there. Alright, that feels kind of bad, not having a curse to remove. So I could have at least had another item, and that would have been a pretty good item because I am using Incendiary Demise. Hey, another statue blueprint. That's cool. I know I've been picking up ore, but I'm not really worried about the ore. Just worried about doing this run. So I probably need like a good chunk of money for this uh, last vendor once I find him. You can see about how much it cost. Another monolith. Uh, I'll try to save that one for the boss. Can't believe there's not a second sarcophagus. There's sometimes one on like every floor, but I guess I'm just unlucky this time. There's a forge. Uh, that's kind of cool. I might just do old map just to make this like not be the slowest thing of all time. Oh, I can't. I can't do green items yet. Okay. Um, what's my next best item? Probably slippery cloak. Yeah, sounds good. I ran out of endless potential, so I'm moving kind of slow now. God, and there's so many curse things I'm wasting. Not like this. Alright, I guess we'll get our free item. And... Wow, we don't even get a free item, never mind. Let's see, map piece 3600, and I guess I'll do the sphere of mana. All right, rapid blows. And let's go see if we just get completely destroyed by the boss or not. Man, I wish I would've gotten that minute of penance. All right, boss time. Oh, this guy is nothing. We do so much damage to him. Maybe I could have done higher. Is that an epic? Is that a crown of kings? Oh my god. Oh, never mind. That's queens. So that is minus uh, five curses. It still does the same thing as kings. Health and mana. But it minuses a bunch of curse I don't actually have. Same thing with those other curse bottles over there. Lots of stuff that just doesn't really affect me right now. God, I haven't been in here in so long. I wish I could have made old map. That would have been great. Alright, bunches of diamonds. Yeah, I could have done higher NG easily. I'm curious if this will even be like worth the stars. It'll be something. Um, what do we got here? Okay. Ouch, that hurts. At least that didn't kill me. I didn't get rid of my worst item. Um, do I have a worst item? I guess the construct pamphlet. Got spell book. Okay, sure. Maybe it'll give me some magic resist a little later.
Alright, I don't think it's really worth me like going through here and trying to beat all the mini bosses and all that, like time wise. So I am just going to go to the next boss, basically. There's like some other traps and stuff. I think I might have just missed a sarcophagus, that's kind of sad. Alright, anyway. That aside, I want to get the trickster stuff. I think I want to get the coffers. So 28, that sounds good. But on my queens, moves five. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna look for curse removal and sarcophagus basically for the rest of the run. These traps are they're just a little much. I don't even think I need them. So adventures garb I can craft. I can I should be able to craft the old map then. Yeah, let's just craft that. And we can check out the map. So we have curse removal, monolith, shop, curse removal. And we're good. Okay, so this is gonna speed it up drastically. I probably should have just started with an old map. Old map is just so good in places like this. Alright, protective powers. Sounds great. Well, I think I gained a curse and lost a curse at the exact same time. Okay. You can still look for, like, secrets in the walls or whatnot. But I'm just not worried. Alright, and things I want out of here. Beast, I guess I'm gonna go with the attack power. The 10% damage and the purse just in case. And we got one more of these. Curse removal. Uh, monolith. Couple more curse removals. Gold chest could be worth going to. Yeah, this one looks pretty easy. Bloodthirst ring. That looks like the hole in the wall. Yes, it is. Bomb pouch. There's a crack in the wall. Give me free items. Wow. That's not free items. That's not anything. Alright, let's grab these curse removal. And what am I down to? 19 curses. We're getting there. Sundering strikes, so we should have a ton of damage for this boss. You can see my Cape of the Flame Walker over there. Yeah, tons of damage. Okay, Cape of the Flame Walker. And I'll try to keep as many of these monoliths on me as possible. Uh, doesn't look like I need to go after the key. I can go for the gold chest and just get out of here. Scepter of Kings. Decent. I uh, don't really know how many kings I have. I just have one. Okay. Uh, yes, remove three curses. The old just walk around. I have so many monolith buffs. They're so good though. Gonna start losing them, but let's see. So we have a monolith, a gold chest, a forge. Uh, okay. Some curse removal. There's our sarcophagus. Gold chest. Some silver chest. Okay. Um, so is that the blood right? Yeah, it's blood right. Don't care about that. So let me grab this. This is going to get all the like loot type things first, and then I'll go around, get the monolith towards the end, and the, uh, ooh, Duelist Edge. Nice, now before piece. Uh, I don't really have any ore, but that's fine. I can pick up a couple pieces, come back and forge that. I guess I also might need some gold for vendors. Oh, and there's a curse thing in there too. 
Wow, there's so much stuff. Uh, I want to go visit the sarcophagus. Oh, there's some more curse removal. I'm going to be able to remove, like, a ton of curse. So I can, like, take something crazy like this. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the dragon scale mail. Markham stone. Alright, so we're at two piece Markhams. Probably should have gone higher in G, but it's fine. After the arena, I guess I went a little more reserved. Alright, and we have an imp somewhere. Imp purge me of my curses. Wow, thanks, imp. So in that case. I can just grab these chests. Amulet of Kings, nice. And I think I can just move on then. Is there anything else I need? I need to go get the monolith. There's a crack in the wall here. We actually got an item this time. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the monolith and just get out of here. I picked up some ore so I can craft something kind of small. I could probably pick up more, I guess. Sir, that much more ore to pick up. It's like two pieces. All right, I'm not worried about that then. So let's just craft something small. I'm done with the trickster set. Don't have a lot of pieces of that. I might just get the crit. Yeah, crit's good. All right, let's grab this monolith, greater insight. So that was useless. And I'll just go through this portal. So I could have had so much more curse because the imp That's fine. All right, we have a shop, some ore, sarcophagus, a gold chest. All right, that's really it. So I guess I'm going to go to the shop first, see if I need to pick up a bunch of money. Okay, uh, none of these really matter. I'll get the skill resist, I guess. I'll get the undead damage. And... Uh, I just don't really care about any of these items. I guess I'll just go with the, the talisman. Help kill things slightly easier. Spiked boots. Okay, um... So we got some curse from that, that's fine. I'm gonna go to the sarcophagus. So I can see how much I actually need to remove. But these floors are humongous and I went the wrong way. All right, what we got? We got Judgment, Seal of Souls. I want Seal of Souls for sure. It's only four. And maybe I can grab Judgment. So that'd be 28. Yeah, that's fine. So now I get to remove some Curse. There's that one. Now I'm going to go to all the exclamation points. So seven there. Seven there. Let's see where the other ones are. So one down there, and is that it? Yeah, I didn't go for the gold chest, but that's fine. So I'll remove seven more, and I'll just go to the next floor. Cool. All right. And last floor before the boss. I have sarcophagus there. I have 16, um, 16, uh, curse. We have a monolith, 
one removal, two removal, three. There should be nine each, four. So I can five. So I can remove uh, 45, curse. So let's see if there's anything I want. I guess I want the scarab for four. Uh, extra damage to undead for 11. Gloves of warding for 22. Yeah, the other items just don't really matter. All right, I guess I'm gonna grab the monolith and get out of here. Figures restoration. Boost nine curses. So I basically need to get two more. I could do all three, but I don't really need to. Don't want to die to like something random. Uh, where is the last one? There's one down here and one up there. All right, so I'm just gonna go down here for this one. Whoop, the other way. I have lots of these dudes following me. But that's fine. Okay. It's about to be boss time. Use the patented walk in a circle technique. It's very good. Okay, and it's boss time. He might just get completely destroyed with all the monolith buffs I have. That would be the dream. Yep, he dies. So I don't think I really had like any stars in town. So we'll see what we got. And I don't even think there's anything really to look at. So now we have 62 stars. So we did get a decent amount of stars. Um, I forgot how much you get for each. Maybe it's 9 or... It's got to be more than that. Maybe it's 18. So now I can attune some more stuff. So that's cool for my regular runs. Uh, let's see what we want to attune. There's some items I just really always go after. Like Armor of Kings is probably big up, big up there. Duelist Edge is pretty big. So those would be the two blue items I would maybe want to do. Markham's Amulet can be really good. But that's going to like knock out my stars super quickly. I want to use like maybe more on uncommon and common items because they are actually, I mean, you find them more often, so they're better to upgrade just because you find them all the time. So this is what I'll do. I'm just going to go down the list starting from like the green items and just get everything that gives me like effective health. So adventures garb is one. Uh, Curios case would be one. And I'm going to go for the full plate mail for, uh, you know, more armor. These technically do it for magic damage, but as a cooldown, so I'm not as big on those. Let's go Robe of the Arch Magi for the extra resist. And anything else in here? That's basically it. I mean, Tower Shield is pretty good, so I'll grab that. And then I've done most of this stuff in here as far as defense goes. Caliph Protection. That's effective health. Firm Buckler, that's effective health. Uh, increase health, that's effective health. Then let's also go with... Where's the other stuff? I already got the Spiked Greaves, Sturdy Belt. That's another one. Uh, so we basically got everything that gives me additional uh, effective health so far. Maybe there's like one or two I missed but that's pretty much all of them. Um, so from here, flat damage is like the biggest damage increase. And then I usually go percent damage. So probably just going to grab that thing we just saw. Percent damage would be like attack power because that increases your damage by a percent where this is flat and then it gets increased by the percentage. So enchanted Dirk. So lots of stars to, you know, mess around with, with that. Um, let's see. What else is going on with my character? So I've made it to NG6 in the tower, NG5 in the pyramid, Moon Temple still NG1. Could just knock out a uh, Moon Temple real quick. Or try to. 
Let's try it. We got our stuff attuned. We're feeling pretty good. Um, we can get some more stars. So I'm gonna do the same kind of build, basically. Uh, just keep kind of chugging along with it. I don't even really need to do it. It's just like, I need to put all the stuff in one of the episodes. So I'm just gonna put it all in this episode. Uh, Lucky Hat old map, that sounds perfect. And I'll just buy like 10 of each key because I don't really care. Okay. Um, gonna craft my heart seeker. I'll do my standard fountain setup. And I will do Center of Demise, Phonetic Eruption, Wicked Sickness, Overflowing Physique, and Crazy Eye. I probably could have adjusted like the fountain a little bit, but I'm really just not worried, I guess. So I'll go to the Mercenary Camp. And do I want to do four as well? Because our Paladin has done, for Second Tower 5, we've beat it. We just beat Pyramid 4. I think if I just do Moon Temple 4, I kind of guarantee that I get it done. Unless it's just way harder than the pyramid at this level, but we'll see. It feels pretty easy. You know, this will give me some lunar shields, which would be cool, in addition to the uh, the extra stars. Okay, I can actually see where I should go. So my shortest path to the exit is up here. So I'm just going to go that way. That, that this way. Okay, so I can go up here. Um, I'm, my basic strategy is just do Pyramid and uh, Moon Temple when it's really easy. That way you don't really have to even try. So I got the Paladin to part of the temple where, you know, it's like no big deal. Or sorry, I did uh, the easy runs of the tower so far. And I just wanted to try out this stuff. Oop, that's not the right way. And uh, just kind of knocking out some pyramid and moon temple just to make it easier. Because why not? This is what I would do if I was like trying to do the uh, the progression as easily as possible. Hope that made sense. But basically, you can just do um, Moon Temple and Pyramid when it's really easy for your character or you feel like you need it. Having a few more Lunar Shields definitely won't hurt. Uh, I currently only have four, and I feel like they get used up pretty quickly. So having like, I don't know how much I'm going to get from this, like an extra eight or ten or something, will be very nice just to... Uh, have even more of a little buffer for each floor that I go into. Okay. Oh, was that a, a crack in the wall? It was. Nice, broadsword. You could fully explore it if you're like worried about uh, you know, progressing through here. But after I hit the first enemy with the amount of gear I had, I was like, this is going to be fine, and we'll see if I'm wrong, but it feels fine. Okay, where's my exit? It is way up there, so I just need to go up as much as possible. Uh, we could go to the vendor. There's two extra floor, two extra things. I mean, I guess that's, it's, it's a smart thing to do. I just might not have very much gold. And this was a super easy room. Also, pretty easy looking room. Alright, what you got? We got Gladiator's Net, Heavy Gauntlets, Markham Stone. Um, since we're going for completion here, going for the tanky item. So Heavy Gauntlet, Mail of Thorns, Gladiator's Net. Uh, if I was going for like ore, you know, go for the ore stuff, but... Just going to actually get this complete. I don't want to have to do it again, so taking it serious. All right, that's a construct.
Alright, what we got in here? Just a bunch of enemies. Evil Infusion, nice. At this point, I use like all my charges doing Arena, so any drink I find right now is basically, uh, what, 2,500 gold. It's like five charges, something like that. And if you don't have the drinks, it's like 5k. So it's actually saving me some decent money. Uh, so I need to go on the left side here. And I think it's boss time. I think it's two floors, then boss. Yeah, two floors, then boss. Uh, this guy does some magic damage, so we'll see how we fare up against that. Combo, please. Alright. Oh, I guess I didn't need to do all of that. Okay, try to get in some damage while I can. I'm like pretty scared of this boss, honestly. I think he crushed like some of my characters before. Alright, his uh, slam doesn't actually do as much damage as I thought it did. That thing. Just those little, uh, those adds deal all the damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, this might actually be hard, just because of the bosses. Maybe it's because I'm skipping like a lot of items and whatnot. As so, well. Uh, let's see, where's the exit? So the exit is... Uh, over this way. Okay, so up and to the right. I'm slipping all over the place. I do not like that noise. Uh, okay, seeing if there's like a shop or anything in here. Nope, okay. Uh, this is up. So, monolith, okay. Regeneration, sure. Silver chest, Duke Second Ring, cool. Uh, okay, to the right. Jeez, I got just so much damage. I must be doing some mechanic wrong on those screeching vampire dudes. Kind of hoping I just don't see them anymore. But I guess my magic resist is also pretty low. Alright, more crit. Okay, what am I doing in here? Oh, I gotta kill that. hate those traps. <laughs> Alright, so one more, and then it's boss time. Uh, any shop in here? I'm 
Nope, don't see one. Okay. So, just need to go up to the big room and then go to the right. Okay. Oh, there's a thing on the wall. I didn't see it. All right, so we made it to the big room, and there is a shop in here. Nice. Okay. So, Amulet of King seems amazing, so I'll take that. And I'm missing out on some other items. Adventure Guard would be great to get, or Amulet. Uh, let's see what my stats are like now. So I guess I'm more on the armor side. So I'm going to take the Steady Greaves. I get the 8 armor from the set bonus, and then also the HP. And then maybe I can muster up either 4k gold or 1700. All right, necklace. Uh, so I'm basically gonna go ahead and clear to the end and then see how much gold I have and add some more rooms if I need to. Nice, Sundering Strikes, that'll be good for the boss. If I can get there fast enough. Alright, I have 3,900. I need 3,900, I don't quite have enough yet. It looks like I can go back and I missed some money here. There we go, now I have enough. Alright, Adventure's Garb, now I have even more health, so hopefully I can just tank mechanics if need be. I remember this uh, dog guy was pretty difficult on melee. But we'll see. Or definitely difficult on the Paladin. Uh, hello? Hey, you're finally in combo. Nice. Alright, I potion just in case. I definitely wanted to get that guy down. Alright, another piece of Markham's. Is that three piece? That's one piece. I don't know what I was thinking with three piece. I guess that was in pyramid or something. All right, let's see what we got here. So I need to go to all of the exclamation points. So there's one there, one there, and one there, okay. So I guess first I'm gonna go to the one to the left. Okay, and the next one is, where is it? There's one to the right, and I thought there was another one. Yeah, one to the north. Okay, so we're just gonna go north to that one. So back where we came from.
That kind of hurt. Alright, and we're good here. Um, so I guess I'm going to backtrack to the beginning. And now where do we go? South? No, okay. So it's pretty close over there. So now we can just go to the right. I guess I'm going to check out this middle room. Hey, we got a monolith. That's cool. Gold fever. Alright, not as cool anymore. It was cool. Alright, the last one. I think it's the last one. I think there's only three to start. It's been a while since I've been in the Moon Temple. So now I can remember where I actually go now. Uh, hmm. Okay. Might have to explore some. Right. Okay. So silver chest, gold chest. Armor of Kings. Cool. Spiked boots, and now we can exit. I think we do this same thing again. So to the south, I'll just go like all at once. Oh, I saw the shop. Maybe we should take a detour towards that shortly. See how much money and whatnot I need. To the left. All right, there's the artifact key. So now I'm going to make my way to that vendor. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Scarabuff Protection, Skull Smasher. Hmm. Nothing super exciting. I think I want the Scarab, Skull Smasher, and I would take the Apothecary, but it's just, uh, obviously I'm not getting it right now. So I'm gonna do the Cape, so when I get hit, maybe on like the boss, I can have a movement speed bonus to kind of get out of a sticky situation. Whereas the other one was on kill, so it just helps me clear faster. Oh, right. Doing like weird portal stuff. I guess I should have stayed in there, but I was tripped out that there was a portal, honestly. Okay.
All right, I got two of the three artifacts. Let's see where the third one is. Uh, back to the map. Um, third one is only a couple floors away. All right, so. Wow, there's no coffin things in here. That was like a super quick room. Rapid blows, nice. I guess I'm actually getting like pretty good XP doing this as well. I'll be able to do the next NG level pretty fast. I can just skip a lot. This one. So many enemies everywhere. Okay, uh, oh, we have these two, okay. Alright, and we're done with that spot. So I think I can just go back to the center and we'll be ready to move on. Try and keep my um try and keep my little bonus for now. Monolith buff. Alright, two silver chests. Blood letter, okay, decent. Extra damage. Markham stone, okay, sure. And it's boss time. Alright. They do like an insane amount of damage. Is that potion of immortality? What does that mean? Okay, I'm stuck. Oh my god. That's my last potion charge. What am I doing? Why are they immune to everything? That's not cool. Uh, Alright, let me get out of that. Come back over here and heal some. One of them is doing so much damage to me. Really can't tell what's happening though. Stop popping all these potions. It's not fair. Is he attackable yet? No. Oh, there we go. Oof. The last boss was super scary. I probably need to learn those mechanics a little better. But anyway, let's look at some stats. 12 million damage, 1.5 physical, 11 million magical. And I'm curious what we actually got. So we got NG4 completed, we got another good amount of stars. I think like 48 stars, something like that. And now I have 12 lunar shields up from four. So that'll be nice. Um, maybe I would have done it one NG lower or right up on the fight a little bit. Uh, how can I go to the other place again? I kind of forgot. Alright, whatever. Um, let's attune some more stuff and call it a video. So, um, I'm gonna work from the bottom up this time. It's anything that gives me effective health, I'm gonna take it, because as you see, lots of damage goes out. Especially in the other parts of the game, but I want to just prevent damage all the time. So I can make a bunch of sloppy mistakes. 
So reinforced gloves. Um, they're more physical, so if I have nine left over later, I'll take that. But I definitely want to block magical damage gloves awarding. Sure. It does have a cooldown, but I'll take it for now. Um, Blood Dagger is technically effective life. But I think my stuff is going to be better suited for Armor of Kings. And we have enough for the Evasion. So Evasion would be good. Markham's Amulet would be okay. And Boots of the Giant is like a lot of HP. So I'm going to go Evasion here because there's really nowhere else to get Evasion. And then I have seven stars to mess around with. I will put it into damage, I guess. So I'm going to put it into, or maybe I'll do some utility. Let's get the movement speed doubled and maybe the other one as well. Yeah, let's get some fast boots. Anyway, that is going to be the episode for today. So basically what did we do? We did a uh, arena, we did pyramid and we did moon temple. So in the next one, we're probably just going to do a very quick tower because my character is already 48 and a little bit extra. So I should be able to skip most stuff and um, just focus on picking up items and killing bosses. It's probably going to be the quickest NG that we're going to have because I'm just not going to be caring about levels. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.